Well, today we're looking at one of the craziest English spellings and its seven different pronunciations. And I'll teach you my little trick of how to remember each different pronunciation. So come with me and I'll explain. We're going to look at the pronunciation of the four letters O-U-G-H when they appear together in seven different words. Why? Because the pronunciation of O-U-G-H is completely different in each word. Let's look at the words though, plow, thorough, enough, through, thought, cough. Crazy, isn't it? No wonder English spelling and pronunciation is so confusing. So let's look at how to pronounce O-U-G-H in these words. And first up is though. O. The O sound is the diphthong O. A diphthong is a quick, smooth glide from one vowel sound to another, and the whole glide acts as one syllable. The tongue moves from a relaxed, neutral position for a uh, to an upward and backward position for u. Uh. Now glide. O. Oh. Your lips should move from relaxed to a more rounded posture. A great example of the O sound is the word no. Now combine O with th. Th is a voiced consonant. Press the tip of your tongue against the inside edge of your top teeth. Not too hard. Making sure the airflow is restricted but not blocked. Now voice the sound as you allow the increased pressure of air to escape. The. Now let's put it all together like this. Though. Next is plow. Ow. The ow sound is the diphthong ow. Again, it's a quick, smooth glide. If you have problems making this sound, try saying ah. Uh. Then after the ah, uh, glide to u. Uh. This should give you the sound ow. Again, your lips should move from relaxed to a more rounded posture. Now try this sound. P. Bringing your lips together to block and release the airflow. P. With voiced L. For L, the tip of the tongue touches the alveolar ridge and the air escapes around the sides. L. Now put P and L together for PL. Finally, put it all together with OW, like this. PLOW. Now you try. PLOW. Next is THOROUGH. UH. The O-U-G-H sound is, of course, the schwa sound, UH. To get this right, relax the tongue, lips and jaw. Now say this. Uh, 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 uh. The only difference is uh is long and uh is very short and has very little energy. Simple. Now let's do the th and uh sounds. Th is very similar to the, but this time press the tip of your tongue very lightly against the inside edge of your top front teeth so that the airflow is just able to flow in between your tongue and teeth. Now remember it's unvoiced. Now make the sound. Now you say it. Now say the short vowel sound ah. Uh. If you have trouble with the ah uh sound, try this. Glide from ah uh to ah. Uh. Because it's the same mouth shape. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now say th. Now for voiced r, at the end of the word, the tongue is raised behind the alveolar ridge, increasing the distance from the roof of the mouth, ensuring there is no friction. Say r. Now let's put it all together. 
thorough. Thorough. Next is enough. Uff. The uff sound is a combination of the short vowel sound ah uh, and the unvoiced sound f. For f, press your bottom lip lightly against the edge of your top front teeth. Remember, it's unvoiced. F. Now say uff. Now put uff with n. For the n sound, obstruct the airflow by placing the blade of your tongue on your alveolar ridge, just behind the top front teeth. N. N. Now put it all together with the letter E being pronounced as I. Like this. Enough. Enough. Next is through. Say long vowel sound oo, rounding your lips and moving your tongue back. Now put it together with th and say through and thought or. Now the oo in through and or in thought are very similar as the tongue stays at the back and the mouth shape is Almost the same for both of these long vowel sounds. Oo as in through and or as in thought. Oo or. Oo or. Round the lips and push them forward for oo with your jaws close together and the tongue is forward. And then to say or, just open your mouth more. Your jaws should be a little wider apart, like this. Or. Oo, or. Now say or with th. Thor. And now put it all together with unvoiced t. Thought. And next is cough. Off. We're staying with the or sound for this one. The Off sound is a combination of the short vowel sound o oh, and the unvoiced f sound. To make the o oh sound, just shorten the o oh sound like this. O oh, o. Oh. Now begin the word with unvoiced k. The back of your tongue touches the soft palate. That's the soft tissue at the back of your mouth. Now say cough. So how can I remember the different sounds, Liz? There are no rules, are there? No, there are no rules. But I do have a simple trick you can use to start remembering them. And before you know it, you will remember the pronunciation of each different O-U-G-H sound without even thinking. The answer is word association. Just associate a different, more simple word with the same vowel sound. And if the word rhymes, that's even better. Feel free to choose your own words. Let me explain with examples for you. For the oo in through, through zoo. For the ow in plow, plow cow. For uff in enough, rough and tough, Enough, rough and tough, cuff. You get the idea. Just pick your own words, the ones you already know how to pronounce, and you'll soon master the pronunciation of all the O-U-G-H words. Now, to help you practice the sounds, I've written a little poem for you to repeat. It's called My Ex-Lover. Here goes. I choked back tears as I told him we were through. I did what my parents told me to do. They said he wasn't good enough, said our lives together would be tough. The sun is set, my heart is widowed now, as he walks away like a pony in a plough. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. For more in-depth lessons on all these sounds, Go here. Until next time, love and peace. <laughs>